project week is officially done. And with that being said, that means I am officially halfway through the boot camp. So project week was very interesting because this is the week that they actually paired us with a partner as I talked about last week. Um, and in this week for our second project, we were paired with somebody that they randomly selected. Um, and my partner, you know who you are. So if you're watching this, hey. <laughs> um, and we were uh, tasked with completing our first full stack application. Um, I know the last two weeks were very confusing for me, but I really feel like throughout this project week, everything came together, which is kind of what I was talking about last week. Um, so we built a full stack application um, and ours was a travel, a travel packing list. I will link it in the description below for you guys to be able to look at the app because we did deploy it. So you'll see um, the works of what we created and what it was was a packing list that we came up with because like for me, I'm very type A and I like lists and order and things like that. So normally when I'm travel traveling, um, Normally when I'm traveling, I'll usually like look up, look on Pinterest for like an application or something like that. I'll look on Pinterest for a packing list, but usually it's not, I would call it, I guess, black girl friendly. So I, I, I always have to like download and then write in like hair bonnet and then write in maybe the combs I need or things like that. So I wanted to create an application that allows you to input your own things. Um, and obviously it's pretty ugly, um, but it's the whole point about it is that it functions and that it works so you can manually type what you need So for me, I could pull from another list type everything that I want and then add things so With this application we had to be able to do full crud which is create read retrieve which is the R update and then delete and create uh, routes that will allow you to go to another page and do that and and input what you need and then go back to the page you can put in your trip um, so I'm very excited and proud of me and my partner for what we were able to accomplish because this is not anything I thought I would be able to do um, prior to the boot camp. And um, I like the flexibility so they don't tell you what to do. You have to get your project approved before you start. So um, I do like that aspect because our, our teachers know what we're capable of. So you could say, okay, I want to recreate Pinterest. We may not have all the tools at the moment at, our, at the six week mark in, at the boot camp. We may not have all the tools to actually create it, but we don't know that, our teacher knows that. So I, I do like that aspect of actually having to get the project approved before you start. And another thing they implemented was daily check-ins. That wasn't something that we had before. So every day, except for the weekends, we had to check in with our point instructor. We have two instructors for our class. Um, and every day we had to check in with our point instructor, let him know what we're working on. And then if we had any questions, that was our time. So they were kind of monitoring our progress throughout the week, me and my partner, we did bump heads a little bit, but what I can appreciate about both of us is if we both felt like we were right about something, we would go ahead and allow one of us to try our our trick or what we thought was right. And if that didn't work, then the other person would try. So this was really, we pair programmed before with the whiteboarding exercises and with the JavaScript code challenges, but this is really the first time where, I mean, it was a week of me and her one of us would share our screen and the other one's typing and talking and I'm and the other person that's not typing is just kind of talking and looking things up. So I think it was a good experience. I don't know if it's something I would always want to do, but they did tell us in the real world that there would be a lot of times where we would be um, pair programming. So I think it kind of slowed us down a bit, but I think once we were able to kind of get our footing and decide what we wanted to do and just implement the basic things on our app, then we were able to break away, I think by Monday or Tuesday, because we actually started the project a week early. So we actually, or a day early. So instead of normally, instead of them starting us on Friday, like giving us our project on Friday and telling us what we're doing and figuring it out from there, they, we actually ended on Thursday, our previous week, and we actually started, so we started the project on Thursday. We had all of Friday, the weekend, and our project was due Thursday. Well, the last project, and with most of our projects, is usually they give it to us on Friday, and it's due the following Friday, so we have the full week. But they did that, or they did it that way because they wanted us to have an extra day of React, so we actually started React our last day of project week, instead of having that full week for projects. Um, 
So going back to the pair programming, um, yeah, it was a it was a bit of a challenge, but like I said, once we were able to kind of get our footing and understanding of what we wanted to do, then by the end of the day, the last two, I'll say, I would say three days, we, we broke off only after class. So we spent 12 to eight, my time, pair programming, we would spend a little bit of time after class, but most of the time was actually spent, like after class, we kind of did our own thing. And then I would wake up because she's on the uh, West Coast. So I would wake up and she would say, okay, hey, yeah, like I did this, can I try to look into this? Can we do this? And then in the morning I would look at it and be like, okay, like I'm gonna update this and I'll fix this. And so I think for both of us that actually worked to our benefit because we weren't like um, merging and trying to do everything at the same time and trying to upload things at the same time. So we ran into no merge conflicts. Um, and I really learned Git, I had already kind of knew GitHub, but I really learned GitHub. By the end of this, I was, Git push origin master, like I can do that, like it's nothing. Um, so that's also another accomplishment I had. And it's nice to see your application on the web, even if it's really ugly, but the fact that it works and like it's on an application, so it's always gonna live, well, I won't say it's always gonna live on the internet, but to, for us to be able to deploy it on the internet, um, this is our last um, full stack without, uh, what, what was the term they called it? Oh, before we build in the next unit with React, single single page application where essentially the way we build our projects in this class is if you need to do something, you have to route it to a different page for us to then open and then, you know, go from there. It can update on the same page by rend we use re uh, res redirect and resin render, which is really response and the request and the response. So we use a lot of that, but in the next unit, they said we're gonna be doing single page applications, which is essentially you being able, which is what we see today on the internet. Like you click on something and it doesn't take you automatically to a frame. It put it, it's only that section. Like if I click a comment, it's not gonna show me all the comments and everything like that. It's gonna be that comment and I can type my comment and then it automatically, you don't see your browser refresh. It just shows up. That's what we're learning next um, in, this boot camp. So that's pretty much a recap of week six. It was mainly just pair programming. We presented on Thursday. We, I enjoyed it. I loved everybody other, all my other classmates, um, applications. We had a marketplace. They did a Bitcoin one. Um, somebody else did something for tasks because we can be so tied into and so focused on this boot camp that you forget to do other things. So we were all paired up. There were five groups. And I can't remember. Oh, the fifth group, what they did is they did a um, diary for people who are in the boot camp. So it's like an online diary where you can write your comments about how you're feeling, give ratings, put your student name. So I thought that was pretty cool because essentially what they were trying to build is like a diary for us to read through throughout the rest of our time in boot camp and for us to be able to read through it and like read comments from our classmates because oh, that was another thing that I would like to say is that um, they use they took some time to talk to us about imposter syndrome. That's something I forgot to talk about that we actually talked about in week uh, five. But we all, we have, they've been incorporating a lot of team building and imposter syndrome. And with that being said, you really, we really started to understand that all classmates, we all feel the same way. Nobody feels 100%. Even the people that are very quick to answer and things like that, they're also struggling with it as well. And so we've been having a lot more bonding time and like imposter syndrome time and talking more about it and getting to know our classmates in small groups. And we did that um, during project week as well. So um, I can appreciate that. And so I think coming from that is where the creation of the diary came. So we can actually like read how we were feeling and being open and honest with each other. And then we're able to look back and see like what we were thinking, you know, week six and at week 12, we finally built two more things um, by then just to see how far we've come. So I really appreciated that project from my classmates. I thought that was very thoughtful and I thought it was very cool. So with all of that being said, that is the accumulation of week six. It was project week. I'm so happy, and I think I say it every week, but I am so happy to be one week, you know, down. So now I'm officially in week seven and we are starting React. So it's gonna be very interesting. I'm very excited for React, but I'm very happy and grateful to be able to have this opportunity to learn through a boot camp. And I hope that you guys find my videos um, encouraging and motivating, but also resourceful. Like I said, I love answering your questions and I love when you guys email me. So please do not hesitate to email me. The reason I started this channel was because I didn't, I wasn't always finding the answers 
when I was doing my own research looking into boot camps. So that's what this is for, um, just so I can help you guys as well. And I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Let's get the week. If you're with me, you know we're at week six. If you're about to start or you're starting soon, please use these as tools and resources and things that I've talked about, maybe look up on your own time. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, a great rest of your day. Enjoy your week and I'll see you next week. <laughs>